Woo! Well, <laughs> what was that all about? I don't know. I'm excited. I, I, you know what? I just bought a 1957 Chevrolet two-door red hardtop, red on red. Oh, did I already say that? I missed that earlier in the yep. program. No, maybe I was telling Bruce out there. Yeah. But um, it's in Massachusetts, and I have to have it shipped over here. I'll probably get it about the 13th or 14th of July. My birthday's on the 17th of July, so that's... In fact, my I have a grandson. His birthday's 17th of July, along with me, which is kind of unusual. Little Benjamin. <laughs> So anyway, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that 57 Chevy. It's a V8 350 four barrel carburetor. It's got a standard uh, two-speed automatic transmission that's original, but it's been re reconditioned. And um, I wanted a four on the floor and a positive track and all that. I may swap those out later. I am an ASC certified master auto mechanic, 25 years in, you know, in the trade. I work for the car dealerships uh, for quite a while and I own my own auto repair shop and things like that but I'm, I've been doing real estate also for over 30 years so I was multitasking I got rid of everything else um, multitasking too much and I just do real estate so for quite a few years now I've, I've specialized in property management uh, we are we are having a shortage of rentals. It seems like every time we get a rental in, we get it rented within a week. Uh, we, we've raised the rent a little bit due to some owners asking us to and uh, because the time that has gone by is, is due. But um, by golly, they get rented out. They're getting rented out real quick. And uh, if anybody's having a problem getting... Uh, a home or apartment rented, let us know. Uh, we just, um, here, I don't know, a couple of years ago, remodeled, uh, what was that over over there? How many rentals was in that place over there in, uh, by McCord uh, Main Gate? Over uh, on Boston Avenue? Boston Avenue, yeah, it was like 18 in two buildings, so 36. 36. 36, yeah. we went in there, there was 18 vacancies. We remodeled that thing and got it sold uh, for the owner. But um, you just gotta need just need hands-on people. We're excited about. It. We love what we do. It's a great thing um, to be able to help other people. We've uh, taken 54 homeless seniors off the street of Tacoma. Uh, we put them on the 645 Street building, uh, North Five, and um, working with Catholic Community Services and Associated Ministries. So. Um, you know, great things are happening. It's an exciting thing to be able to do stuff like that. You can find uh, about 70 videos on YouTube. Um, half of them are for the business. The other half of, are for uh, vacations and things we've taken uh, to the Philippines. And uh, something I want to mention here that's kind of dear to my heart is uh, that we are taking food and medical supplies uh, to the Philippines to orphanages over there twice a year and we'll go to over there for two to three weeks each time and uh, it actually brings tears to my eyes I, I, I really I, I can't quite help it but uh, I love the children uh, the children are the future you know and um, Filipinos from my, in my opinion for everything I've seen they love Americans it could be that we kicked the Spanish out back in, back in the day and gave their country back. And then when the Japanese took over, we kicked the Japanese out and gave their country back again. So they asked us to close our bases. We shut them down. We absolutely honor the Filipinos. Uh, they're the most industrious, hardworking, loving people that I've ever met. I've been to 33 countries. I've been all over the world with my wife. 27 cruises multiple vacations here and there, been to Russia and South America and everywhere, all over Asia. But uh, that's just what I found. Anyway, um, one of our goals at BCI Properties is to help people. Our duty, our fiduciary, our fiduciary duty is to our owners. That's our client, number one. But we, uh, but that being said, 
we love our tenants and we really want to help them out. We have people coming in, uh, like a lady came in today and she said, hey, can you help me? I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I, my, you know, I, I, I can't seem to find a rental. I don't have uh, any record, criminal record. Um, I make good money, uh, but it's just uh, my credit is, is, is poor. So come to find out, uh, we got to talk to her a little bit, and she had a divorce. Well, divorce led to a bankruptcy. One thing leads to another sometimes. And um, we, the more we got to talk to her, we, we said, well, you know, she needs a three-bedroom house, got two kids on her own, you know. So uh, what we do at times like that, if the money is good, and she's paid her rent well in the in the past, where she came from. We check with the landlords, we make those calls. Uh, we will call owners of a house sometimes and tell them what the situation is, and that she's got plenty of money, she can easily afford the rent, but she's had a past of a, a bankruptcy, a divorce, and these things, and it happens. Now a lot of owners say no, I, I don't, I don't want to do it, so that's fine. But at least we call. And we find that even if some owners say no, they're glad that we called. They're glad that we're putting the effort out. They see that we're trying. Uh, we've got advertising out there. People are coming in. The phones are ringing. So, um, but then some owners will go for it. And then we have a risk management program we, we offer to tenants. Tenants that can't get housing any other way and anybody else will help them. Nobody will help them. We can put a risk management program out there for those tenants. And it's explained on our website. Uh, they will pay $100 a month on top of the rent. In addition, money that we get as a company, we do not give that money to the owner. What we do is we do additional inspections. We'll do additional drive-bys. We'll keep an eye on things. If they're not paid, if that rent's not paid on the first, th that's... That's the one property that's on the top of the list. We'll go out and knock on the door, uh, and uh, we just go the extra mile. Sometimes we're out on a Sunday. If there's any problem at all, and they're not going to be able to pay the rent on time, or there's an issue of their money coming in right, or whatever, that's the people that we work with the most. It's above and beyond what I call above and beyond the call of duty. So um, our property managers go out when they should be Sunday going to church or at home with their family, they'll go out and deal with people like that. But we'll help them. That's what I'm talking about. When you deal with people, you find out what is the problem. You're not on time at the first. It's the second of the month and you're not paid yet. And th then we find out that, well, they have the money, uh, but there's this little issue here or there, and we try to help them settle that and figure it out. We had one guy, he was $50 short, he didn't pay his rent because he, he needed that 50 bucks and wanted to pay it all at one time. <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? Get in here and pay your rent and pay what you have. I'll, pay, I'll take the $50 out of my wallet so you're not late. You owe me. Little things like that. Now, we don't promise to do that. <laughs> we don't do that on a regular basis. But only on an emergency, on a case-by-case -case basis, especially when somebody's on a risk management program because... I'm putting my reputation on line with these owners that are expecting us to perform. At the end of 12 months, the $100 goes away. If they've paid on time, the $100 goes away. And um, we, get, we give them a certificate with our letterhead on it showing that they paid on time and that they're good tenants. That puts them in, back in good stead usually with uh, other landlords. We also offer a rent-to-own program. Well, the rent-to-own program is uh, also explained on our website, uh, one of our links there, at bci-properties.com or bcirent.com. And the rent-to-own program is really pretty cool. Um, people that can't want to buy a house, can't buy a house otherwise, if they want to work with our program, they pay $200 a month more on their rent. So if the rent's $16.95, they're paying $18.95, and it goes into like an escrow program. 
but the owner of the property, we will have set it up ahead of time with the owner to give them 200 credit on top of the 200 they put into uh, the escrow. So they pay 200 a month extra, but the owner's adding 200, they're getting 400 a month credit. So in a year, that's $4,800. In two years, it's $9,600 for their down payment. And we're working with them the whole time to resolve credit issues or whatever you know needs to be done to make their credit better and to get that credit score up higher. Um, I had a guy come in yesterday and, Don, I need you to loan me 1700 bucks, man, so I can move into this other house. Well, the guy had been real nice and coming in and shaking my hand all the time for about two or three months. And I like the guy. He's, you know, and we're personable. He's a personal guy. I looked him right in the eye and said, I don't loan money. I don't. The $50, no, I didn't tell him, but the $50 for helping that one tenant I just mentioned, that was money for the owner, not for the tenant. I want the owner to be well. I want the owner to have every penny of their money, whatever I have to do, if I'm able to do it. So that's what happened there. But I'm not going to give this guy money to do that. So I told him. He said, okay, we're still friends, right? I said, oh, yeah, we're, we're all friends, right? <laughs> so why not? Why not? Uh, I uh, I don't know. I've got a great crew, though. I want to talk about my team, my crew, just a little bit. Uh, did I miss something Naomi was going to talk about? <laughs> did I miss it? Okay, so I want to talk about my crew, though, my team. Um, I've got the best team I've ever had in 30 years. And I think you guys would, you know it already. I agree. You, you see it, Most right? Most definitely. Yeah. And uh, John says, I love my job. He says that almost every day. I said, John, I get it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And I don't know. Well, you, I don't think it's, you were saying that before you got your last raise. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. So it's cool. It's cool to hear that kind of stuff, you know. Um, we got together. We had a barbecue a couple of weeks ago out in front of the office, you know. And uh, where are we going? Was it Friday, Naomi? What? We're going to the Rainiers game on Friday. Team building event. It's tomorrow. Yeah. Who? Tomorrow night. So $45 per ticket, and you guys had to pay that? <laughs> no, we didn't have to pay that. Oh. You guys take care of us. Oh. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. I, uh, I've got to uh, head out to a break, and I think I need a little break anyway for right now. <laughs> and we've got something kind of interesting to share. Stay tuned, all right? This is Don Lesky. Clay Radio, 1180 AM, Tacoma's radio station. <coughs> oh, well, when it's time.